Welcome back to the Gothai Street session number 11, entitled Strafania again. The last session was entitled Strafania, but we didn't make it. We got distracted um, and ended up on a hill killing hags um, who were turning children into pies. Uh, that said, uh, we'll go ahead and um, uh, move past the uh, aftermath. Um, you continue on your road trip to the western gates of Strafania. The fog spills out of the forest to swallow up the road behind you. Uh, ahead, jutting from the impenetrable woods on both sides of the road, are high stone buttresses, looming gray in the fog. Huge iron gates hang on the stonework. Dew clings with cold tenacity to the rusted bars. Two headless statues of armed guardians flank the gate, um, their heads now lying among the weeds at their feet. They greet you only with silence. As you approach, the gates swing open, inwards, screeching as the hinges move. Elenia, upon seeing the guardians, looks to them and says, They're like the old Aeton knights of Atavius' early worship. Um, and seems to let that linger in the mists. Um, that said... Um, do you enter the gates, or... No. I mean, I'm gonna... Definitely ask Belenia. Uh, what are the Creatin Knights? Aeton Knights. No, Aeton Knights. They were... A long time ago, before the ancient country of Osiria was formed far off in the lands to the east... Uh, there were people known as the Parnans, um, who served the elves during the War of Sword and Serpent. They fought against dragons, and they fought for the sanctity of humanity. When the war was over, they left following the um, first true um, holy figure of my religion, um, Ryomand. Uh, off to the east, further east from where they were, uh, to a land called Osiria. Um, and that's where the Aeaten knights showed their prominence. They forged a triumvirate, a rule by three kings, as it was believed that no one man could rule as the god, the sun, uh, the straightest arrow, the lord of the morning, could rule. Their laws would not be as accurate. One king ruled over the judicial and the exaction of the law. Another king ruled over the execution of the law. And the last king ruled over the conscription and legislation of the law. But our people come from a separate kingdom that splintered off from them. Um, our entire nation is built from uh, the remnants of that war. Oh, but, go ahead. So when we were in that church, and you're referencing those uh, names for both eyes, mm -hmm. was, were they in reference to that god? Yes, it would seem that they don't know them, as if they're not even in the history books yet. Or if they're being ignored entirely. The headless nature of these statues is um, unnerving. It's pretty well known that Gothias was a lieutenant of the Mad Dragon Queen, Ashmedea. I just wonder who ruled this place before Gothias took it over. If these statues were left behind by some earlier people. Um, if you cross through uh, the gates, not very much long after you pass through the gates, the gates shut behind you. Um, not in a sudden or forceful manner. It just seems to be a casual, lackadaisical kind of shutting. Um, before you, there are a number of hills. Through the mists, you can't see too much, uh, except that you can see a couple of red lights off to the east, 
Um, they appear to be high up on a hill, um, well off in the distance. Um, and as you kind of gain your footing and kind of stop for a moment, uh, you would notice that there's kind of an outline of what appears to be another fortress, not too dissimilar from the fortress um, that you started this whole adventure in. Well off in the distance, um, I would say some three or so miles away. Um, that said, um, there's a fork in the road immediately um, after passing through the gates. It seems one path leads to your left. Based on the route, it looks like it would go into the hills and up towards that keep that you see off in the fog. And the other heads south towards what appears to be um, a river um, and possibly yet another crossing. Do you wish to go left or right? I'm going to look over to the rest of the group and just be like, man, does anyone else's memory feel really hazy of the last couple things that just happened? <laughs> I don't know why. I just It's almost like I just don't remember any of it. Elenia kind of scratches her head and says, you were frozen and locked in place for a good majority of the fight, so... That makes sense. Slapped through some of it. Um, and uh, she kind of politely tells you the tale. <laughs> and I do already know. Uh, yeah. Outside, outside, I do already know because Stephanie told me all about it and everything. I plan to watch it later. Fair enough. It's Oopsie. great episode. Probably the best episode. <laughs> yeah, and I, I know, of course, of course, when I'm not here, I just like kill my character all yeah, You have all the fun. <laughs> you, guys, you guys can have real fun as long as I'm gone. <laughs> Um, I vote right. I don't remember what the choices are. but So if you go right, it looks like it's heading kind of southbound um, across a bridge over a river. Uh, if you head left, it looks like it's kind of going into the hills, and it seems directionally it would lead you to this strange keep with burning red lights off in the distance in the mists. Ooh, actually, real quick, important question while everyone's still thinking. Um... Again, like kind of meta game question here. Mm -hmm. uh, we had that fight in the middle of our resting. During that, f the two sessions ago, during that fight, I used a bunch of my abilities that recharge after a rest. Would I have then rested enough to recharge those? After the fight in the windmill, you would have uh, had a short rest, which would have oh, lasted okay. about an hour. So, not a long rest, but I think most of your abilities recharge on a short rest. I think they do too. I can check that here in a minute. Mm -hmm. Everyone else can make the decisions. At this point, I say, I say right. <clears throat> I'm gonna go left. Of course you do. Um. Nodder. That's towards the river. So. Right. Right. Okay, that's two for right, one for left, and Nodder. You're muted. That's why nothing I said mattered. <laughs> I mean, does you it ever? You probably had some some good hot takes in there, but yeah, we didn't hear a single oh, man. one. Yeah, I, I had a lot to say about current Perfect political plan. climate, but say la vie. <laughs> Fair enough. Forget all that. Oh. You know, no, my said, no right. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah Alenia is all for right as well. Um, and uh, you head off in that direction. Um, and Ismon was the name of the guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one that you are expected to meet up with in the town known as Strafania. Um, as you move up to the, um, the bridge, um, you hear what sounds like um, a distant um, hoof fall, um, some distance behind you. Um, you stop and kind of look off in that direction to see if something's coming up behind you. What you see is that a black carriage with two massive... Um, black steeds uh, drawing it um, comes to the fork in the road and then moves into the gate um, it opens and the uh, carriage continues on 
um, westward bound. Um, it looks like it's moving off in quite the hurry, possibly towards the town of Volok. Uh That said, um, you continue on and you make it to um, the bridge. Um, you would see that um, the uh, path um, is pretty well worn. Um, and you can occasionally see uh, rooted cobblestones still kind of holding in place, um, showing signs that there was a much more um, well-traveled thoroughfare here that's uh, kind of fallen to um, disuse. Um, it looks like the bridge is of a similar standard. Um, it is a um, arching bridge of mold-encrusted stone um, that spans this natural chasm. To the west of it, you can see um, mist rising up in mist, which is kind of a cool effect. Um, but you can tell that it's from a waterfall uh, in that direction. Um, there are gargoyles on this bridge, um, perched at the corners of the bridge. Um, they appear to have um, frowning faces that are well weather-worn and kind of broken, uh, chiseled apart. Um, as is the case with the um, the buttresses um, and the uh, uh, balustrades. Um, the uh, mountainous side of the bridge, which would be the one that you're kind of moving towards, um, it does look like the mist is kind of coming up from the falls to the west of you and kind of going up the mountains um, within the misty area um, therein. Kind of like a, a dense white snake moving in the mists up the mountain um, to the south. Um, yeah, when you immediately cross the bridge, you will note that there does appear to be a uh, less um, noticeable, um, but still pretty clearly obvious, especially to Nodder, um, trail that kind of heads off um, to the east a bit and kind of follows the river. Um, the road itself seems to move back along the sides of the forest to the south um, and uh, kind of inwards therein. Let's see if I can cut that out and cut that out to open it up a little bit more. Oh, oh. <clears throat> so much view. I'm like a bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we went. Over I'm, the river, and now we're going through the woods. Where's grandmother's house? Well, you could follow the I, river. It's okay. Like, with, with that, I'm out. I, <laughs> <laughs> the pun's already started. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm curious about the the side the side trail. You know, pretty used to them. That's what I travel. I know a shortcut. No. Um. Sorry. Apologies. Um. Pick a representative of the party and have them roll a 20-sided dice. Jeez. I forgot to do that on the way here, but I'll uh -oh. just do it. Michael didn't get to play last time, so maybe he should roll. Yeah, let's have Michael do it. Yeah. Yeah. Roll, roll a 20-sided dice. Yeah. Hero, hero, <laughs> hero, hero, hero. Okay. Notated. It's a 19. What is notated? That's good. Or bad. Random counter rolls or you bad, yeah, you're right. You're right. I forgot. That could be real bad. Um, I think usually our numbers are better for these. But. Yeah, low Everybody numbers are better dies. for randoms. Yep. But uh, right. that, Everybody dies. That's that said, um <laughs> Do you wish do you wish to travel the side path or continue on the main road? Um I can go the side path. No sin like side paths. I can <laughs> Very curious we got side path. two votes for side paths. Alenia is full on main path. Let's get to the the guy in the town. Um, so just so you know where the the no lean side quest. The, she wants no more detours. No more Alenia detours. Alenia also didn't want me to have that flute. <laughs> yeah, Alenia didn't want to die in a windmill either. Like, there's a lot of things that didn't want to happen, and she's saying. But did she? We have a child. Did she die? <laughs> we have. Did we have. She we have a goal. Here in my did she die or did I save her but also try and kill her at the same time we have a goal 
in my but if a lot of you want to i mean again it's it's obviously a democratic process if a lot of you want to take the side path we'll take the side path side path side <laughs> path side. we got three for side path so side path equals Fun. side path okay um, main path equals death main path. you follow main the path. um the side main path. the side path kind of following along the river and this river seems to be a bit stranger than the other rivers you've seen uh, in and about. Um, it appears to narrow, um, and from what you can tell, um, there appear to be a lot of holes in and around and near this narrowing space. Um, it does look like the river is moving quite fast in this space as well, and it's a kind of thick, um, dark color. Um, it does appear to be water based on its movement, but you cannot see to the bottom. Your presumption is, is based on its narrow nature, it's probably not too deep. Um, but yeah, you move beyond it. Um, can I tell um, if there's life in the river? What's that? Yeah, can I like tell if there's anything alive in this river? How are you wanting to test it? Uh, I'm just fishing. looking at it. <laughs> looking, I can paw at it for some fish. Looking at it is like staring into uh, a mirror in the middle of a dark room. You're just staring a kind of a reflective service that's kind of moving fast and um, away from you. Uh, what if I put my paw in it? Um, sure. Um, you uh, <laughs> would, if you would, go ahead and make me a strength athletics check. Oh no! Wait, I'm good at those. Hold on. That means I'm gonna fail. <laughs> if I know anything, I'm a contradiction. <laughs> Nutter just dies. <laughs> Okay. You manage to pull your hand free, but you do feel this kind of force from the water kind of dragging downwards. It seems like the water that you think is moving kind of a direct path seems to actually be churning. Oh. Um, the other thing you kind of uh, reflect on this is if it almost pulled you in, if someone else in your group, Hero might be able to withstand it, but if anyone else in your group were to get close to the water, get pushed into the water something to that effect, uh, they might be dragged down. But you don't know what that means. These waters are pretty risky, guys. Let's walk away from the shore a bit. Do you have um, the nature skill trained? Uh, yes. Go ahead and make a nature roll. So you're familiar with water. It's primary source of life. Um, I hope so. You're also familiar with strange bodies of water. This is definitely a lot different than anything you've seen. But based on what you're uh, seeing here, your presumption is is that these holes in the side are actually caves and caverns that are running underground, and the water is basically flowing throughout uh... all of them, and it's causing that centrifugal force which would drag things downwards. Your base assumption is is if that's the case, it may be this could be five feet deep, but the caves could be hundreds of feet deep, yeah, and you could be shoved down into any one of them. Understood. <laughs> Like, don't, don't mess with the water. Don't mess. Yeah, definitely don't mess with that kind of water. Horror stories about that kind of water. I'm just imagining like giant catfish in those. Oh, Anyone want to go noodling? Uh, maybe a, a fish with three eyes up the middle? <laughs> oh, God. Um, I can't swim. I we saw that fish. Rock. We never did anything with them. No. As, as you continue can, on. If you continue on. Um, it does <laughs> seem that the uh, waters widen a bit. Um, looks like you move past that. And up ahead, you can see that the uh, this dirty road is kind of uh, replaced by a uh, twisted, muddy path that kind of um, runs in and out of the trees. Um, it doesn't look like there's much like space um, for like wagons and whatnot to move, but despite that being the case, you can see that there's evidence that wagons have moved along this particular part of the road. There are deep ruts in the earth that appear to be wide enough to hold a wagon. Uh, the canopy of mist and branches suddenly kind of gives way uh, to black clouds kind of boiling far above. Uh, there's a clearing here uh, next to a river that widens, as mentioned. Um, the uh, clearing um, looks like it has five colorful round tents, uh, each about 10 feet in diameter, uh, that are pitched outside a ring of four barrel-topped wagons. Um, there's a much larger tent stand, um, a tent standing uh, near the shore of the lake. Um, it's sagging form lit from within. Um, 
near this tent, there are eight unbridled horses that are drinking from the river here. Um, the mournful strains um, of an accordion clash with the singing of several brightly clad figures around a bonfire um, in the center there. Uh, a footpath continues beyond the encampment, uh, meandering kind of um, south of the encampment and onwards. Uh, you presume that it probably reconnects with the road that you left to uh, come this way. Um, based on what you're seeing here, it looks like there are about 12 uh, male and female individuals kind of just um, being body and um, drinking uh, wine. Um, it doesn't seem that there's anyone on watch or being attentive. Um, and uh, you're a distance away that if you wanted to turn away now and not be noticed, you could. Or if you wanted to sneak up on them, you could. What are they, they like a fun thinking group. about? Yeah. Um, the songs are in a language you do not understand. Oh, unless anybody here mouth. secretly has the language of the bitter hearts, um, you you do not understand what they are saying or singing. Nope. I do. Okay. Um. I don't know, guys. Do we want to get uh near these guys? I could uh, put my axe in one of my little belts and sort of crawl over there. <laughs> bear, bear crawl. You can bear. Ah, oh, dang it! <laughs> I was trying to say it first. Sort of try and get a closer look at him. Bear crawl. <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, I I know I already gave did I, didn't I give you inspiration for something? Yeah. Okay, then I'm I giving it, it. I'm giving it to Michael for being on deck I, with that I one. I think I also have it. Well, <laughs> no, no, we took yours we, last we, time. You oh, no, thanks. no, no. He <laughs> spent it. And thank you. Just, yeah, I, just, I definitely don't remember that, but okay. Just so you know, just so you know, I did not spend it. I asked them if they wanted me to spend it. They voted unanimously. Spent you know, it. I know. I'm just a tool <laughs> for everyone. But. I just want to make sure. Hey, it kept it kept us from getting killed. It actually At caused least you, you know your place. <laughs> it caused everyone's, me to crit. Everyone's trying to be nice, eight. and she's just straight to the point. Yeah, no, Stephanie, she's a she's a something. At least you know what you are. Brutal. Um, That's something that I can't probably say on Twitch. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Um, oh. It's, getting, it's getting it's getting spicy. <laughs> Anyways, I, I say we, uh, I say we, uh, check them out oh, and sneak and up on Just them. say hi. Do you want to well, sneak, sneak up? We could just say hi. We I'd prefer uh, sneaking. Alternative, okay. alternative, alter sidebar, sidebar. Because you'd also, like to sneak. thing that I thought of was, uh, also we could, uh, take four horses that are just drinking over there by the river. Wow, that is no honor. <laughs> Just uh, wow. we need it more. Went from warrior, from honorable warrior to uh, just. <laughs> Our causes to kill Goliath. A, a, a bard and or rogue, basically. <laughs> Our causes to kill. The rogue is saying, "Hey, we could just go say hi. We could just go party." And the and y'all are like, is... "Let's go sneak up on him." No, or, I, I don't know. So you guys, so you guys hey, know. I'm not, to I'm not lawful. Them. I'm chaotic. <laughs> I I don't want to attack them. I want to sneak up because I don't want to be attacked myself. I want to make sure we know what's going but on if, over there first. But if we sneak, they're just they're just partying. We could just cool. go over there and be like, hey. Those are famous fun. last words. The no, enemy, that's a good point. The enemy also has parties, you know? You could send so, the most inconspicuous person over to join the party and distract them, and then we can make off with their horses. Or they could be instantly grabbed by several people while all of us are far away and brutally murdered. That could also I put, happen. I put my axe in my belt. <laughs> Elenia's just kind of crossed her arms and is kind of tapping her foot. <laughs> she wants back on the main path. Uh, she <laughs> just, I, stop, stop I, I, I didn't even want to come here. <laughs> stop stopping. Whatever we uh, do, I'm not making the decision because last time I almost got us killed. It was an amazing time. But I also saved us with something ridiculous, so there's that. And we saved a young person from being eaten. <laughs> we did. 
I swear. And burnt down a whole but windmill. But we still got no pie. I don't know if you want those pies. I didn't want <laughs> that pie. But the offer. Oh, I pie. want that pie. Not that pie. I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> Just joking, keep going. It has um, nowhere else to go. It's not. Y'all can sneak. I'm gonna, I'm still, I'm gonna keep. I'm, a... I'm gonna keep back here. Make sure y'all don't get killed. Well, I'm cool with the idea of like saying hi potentially, but like I'd want to first make sure they're not like, you know, doing something that we can't see from back here. Okay. That's all I'm okay. saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay. You're the s sneakiest. As you're talking amongst yourself, this time. as you're talking amongst yourselves, you hear a loud clonk clonk um, over in that distance. Uh, as you kind of all kind of snap in that direction and kind of look over there, uh, you can kind of see some one of the um, individuals tossing a pretty large log into the fire. It's pretty roaring the flame. Um, it, it you think it's like mid afternoon, um, so they are definitely getting started early. Um, but hey, party. Uh, yeah. Oh, do we have any of that wine left? If we do, you have it. No, we cause... traded it in to I only traded mine and heroes. Yeah, it was only us two. Not yeah, right. I didn't have any on me. Didn't no, I think any. it was just us, yeah. Okay. Well, <clears throat> we tried. Well, can I can I potentially see any better? Being that I'm kind of a taller individual, and actually, how about are there are trees nearby? Can I kind of yeah, climb like, a tree a little? You bit? want to get on my shoulder? Well, climbing a tree will be hard. These trees are bushy, but they're um, ah. coniferous. They're not really heavy branch, uh, very I can, pine I can, needly. I can, I can carry a hero on my shoulder. Yeah, I mean, carry like two times my my size of weight. It's just that the trees are pretty tall. If you wanted to kind of move or circumnavigate around them to kind of get more of an idea of it, I would allow for there. Again, they're not really paying too much attention. There is a wagon kind of blocking your sight, but you can definitely see that there's a grouping of people around a fire in the middle there. You hear kind of um, a, 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 another clack of wood, um, and then uh, you hear kind of laughing, um, and then you start hearing what sounds like cymbals uh, kind of clashing together, um, and then the music continues a bit. It's like they're having a good time. I mean, you guys want to check? Just, 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 hey, John, just, hey John, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you a little. PM yep. on Discord real quick. Sure. No secret. You guys can talk among yourselves. Oh, <laughs> Somebody's got himself an idea. All right, students, you may talk amongst yourselves. All right, I'm a. <laughs> you got, how do... Cut. How do you how do you guys <laughs> feel about my awkward bear mode crawling? You know, sort of like adjacent to. I feel so unfair. <laughs> It's like a grown person crawling. I'm sure that that won't freak him out. A giant bear just crawling over. I mean, technically, you could. Oh no, that's actually a really bad idea. I feel like oh, <laughs> I was just gonna gotcha. say like walk all on your fours. That's what I'm saying, though. Just, just uh, it looked pretty ominous. John, so I just, I thought maybe that was an accident. Okay. She can be. Well, um, okay. Uh, I mean, from what I'm seeing, I'm not seeing anything too malicious, guys. If, if you're wanting to introduce yourselves, we can, we can talk to these people. Or if you want to try to steal their horses, but that seems wrong. Let's not steal horses. This is coming from the rogue. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the team of not stealing horses. <clears throat> okay. I mean, what are we going to do with them? <laughs> well, yeah. They're riding a horse. <laughs> I'm also giant. Yeah. I'm, so. <laughs> I mean, unless they're Clydesdales, and then Clydesdales don't even move that fast. No, they're not Clydesdales. They're just regular draft horses. It looks like they're actually more for... They don't have saddles or anything. Um, and not too mm. far from where you're standing at current hero, you can see that there's um, yokes uh, that would be uh, fast to the wagons to um, have two um, animals pull each of the carts. 
eight let's horses just, just four hi. wagons yeah let's just let's just say hey all right who's coming in okay. first i'll, I'll, I'll should, also i'll should come we along. go this back way oh, there's the path? a little there, yeah there's a little path down here what yes yeah yeah we probably shouldn't go in the back way that looks very suspicious yeah. Yeah. yeah in case stuff goes down let's not have our backs towards the river Okay. Or, or I can it. stay here in this little cubby hole until you guys say it's safe. Alenia kind of stays to the back of the group, um, not <laughs> moving forward um, terribly fast and not terribly excited about the whole situation. You can tell that she's sad that you're not on the main trail. Um, <laughs> the uh, uh, who's the first? We get it. <laughs> make I want to make sure I hammer this home. Uh, <laughs> who is the first? person um in line kind of moving up who's what's the first face they're gonna see uh, who is it me and in hero well, I, apparently I, hero I, wants to hang back oh, i guess yeah, i'm just yeah. not part of this group at all that's fine <laughs> you didn't say whether you're coming or not yet I, I i asked who of the group is going to be up front i didn't i didn't i wasn't saying not you they were the ones who were all like me 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 but yeah if you want to push um you know her to the front a good song <laughs> um the video or video whatever wait Evelyn, are, are you in the group I... yeah all right so it's me <laughs> me then and Evelyn. are you coming with us to party Elenia will be behind you uh, kind of acting as kind of middle ground so then i presume that the most prominent of the three of you um and most noticeable uh, coming out of the shadows and the mists is going to be the bear. Um, based Probably. It was his idea. <laughs> based on that, you see them all kind of turn and look in your direction, and I know they're all represented by the same token, but use your imagination. There's a mix Aww. of male and female, um, all with, you know, kind of uh, just um, uh, surly no, kind that. of attire and complexion and looks like they're very road weary um and you know like they've been out on the road for a long time and they're just letting it out some you know some some steam and they kind of look over to the bear as he approaches and uh they start laughing <laughs> they start pointing and laughing <laughs> Where the fuck did you get an outfit like that? It's very strange. <laughs> oh my god, it's a bear man. <laughs> it's very crazy. I'm an oddity. <laughs> One of them, uh, older looking guy, kind of steps out of the wagon and he says, What's this? Bear man? That kind of pops out. He's got um, kind of like a nice... Um, mustache um, and yeah beard kind of coming it's more of um, uh, like it's long um, and it Fu doesn't Manchu. yeah it's, it's a Fu Manchu um, he kind of looks to uh, Nodder and says ah a bear folk uh, you come from the west yes hmm. it's been a long time since I've been since uh, to hill watch yeah. how is um, everything there uh, how long has it been? Oh, time is a fleeting thing. I do not remember. That's very different then. Ah. Uh, than when you've left. I suppose it would be. <laughs> <laughs> time is different here, um, in the lands of Strafania than there it is in where I assume you are from. There are not too many fair folks in these parts. The music kind of it. slows and then stops as everyone kind of looks to Nodder as an oddity. Um, I mean, there's not bear folk here, but there are plenty of different things I've never seen before. Oh, that is true. Surfania is a strange land, strange land. Um, are you just passing through, or would you like to perhaps stop and um, take a drink? It's been a very long time since the two families have met, and it is good fortune to have a um, individual such as yourself grace a party such as ours. Oh, okay, I'm gonna look at Sen and one one of the people kind of next to you, a uh, younger lady, kind of reaches out with a bottle, just handing it like to you, just kind of holding it up and offering. Ah, oh, come on, that's not <laughs> fair. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I'm um, gonna 
I'm gonna take listening you. eyes. I want to join the party. Okay. <laughs> it seems like they kind of go, oh, hello. I'm gonna... You are also servants of Gothias. Excellent. Even more. <laughs> this is, bodes very well. <laughs> and he kind of grins um, and looks back into his wagon. Sen, as you're kind of approaching, you can see that inside of the wagon there are two naked women on his bed inside of the wagon. And he kind of looks back and says something in his language and then closes the door. You hear giggling from inside. Um, he kind of turns and looks to the, the lady. Have you taken the bottle of wine from her or no? I mean, I did, and okay. then he said that, and now I'm like slow. I'm like taking my time. You're, you're kind of holding now. it. He kind of, <laughs> he kind of, he kind of like snaps his finger, and she basically produces another bottle and hands it to him, and he drinks. Ah. I, you know, it, if it happens, it happens. I'm gonna take a sip. All right, tastes pretty good. Um, oh, cool. It's not too dissimilar from the wine that you got from the wizard's uh, winery. Ah, that's a good stuff. Yeah, and uh, he moves over and kind of takes a seat of prominence. Um, you can see him kind of fastening his belt as everyone else starts to kind of uh, make way and make space. Um, you can see the band kind of settling on their instruments, not sure whether to start up playing again or, you know, um, to hold. Um, Elenya kind of stays back in the tree line, kind of holding her position there. Uh, hero, you can see that um, Abilene has kind of walked around to the wagons, and some of them are kind of looking over at her. But it doesn't seem like for you, um, Abilene, that they're looking at you like the people in Volok did, like like you're strange or an oddity. They seem to just be kind of familiar with you. Like, yeah, it's fine. That seems that makes sense. Um, <laughs> they, the only thing that seems to strike most of the group as an oddity is the bear folk. Uh, would you guys be so kind as to play some more music? Oh, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, strike it up. We'll sing a good dance, a bitter heart tale, <laughs> the one about the mad mage, the one about the mad mage. Um, I don't know that one. They start to sing. Uh, the music's kind of loud and kind of over. Uh, it kind of stops. Uh, most of what you're able to talk or discuss, it kind of takes hold of the, the dialogue, and you hear um, them kind of recanting this tale and song. A mighty wizard came to this land over a year ago. I'm not gonna sing it. I'm not. Sing it, dude. Uh, I just I cannot continue this uh, campaign. No, it's not gonna happen. DM is not singing the song. No. Yeah, it pulled me out of it, man. Uh -uh, I mean, sorry. you're not wearing your uniform. So... I. Yeah, I mean, you shouldn't I take anything. Haven't made it yet. Yeah, but you shouldn't take anything I'm saying for for accurate at all because <laughs> of that. But a mighty wizard came to this land over a year ago. I remember him like it was yesterday. He stood exactly where you're standing, a charismatic man uh, he was. He thought he could rally the people of Strafania against the devil Gothias. He stirred them with thoughts of revolt and bore them to the cattle and mass. Which is the castle and mass. Um, when the vampire appeared, the wizard's peasants' army fled in terror. A few stood their ground and were never seen again. The wizard and the vampire cast spells at each other. Uh, their battle flew from the courtyards of the high castle to a precipice overlooking the falls. I saw the battle with my own eyes. Thunder shook the mountainside, and great rocks tumbled down upon the wizard. Yet by his magic he survived. Lightning from the heavens struck the wizard, and again he stood his ground. But when the devil Gothias fell upon him, the wizard's magic couldn't save him. I saw him thrown a thousand feet to his death. I climbed down the river to search for the wizard's body, to see if, you know, he had anything of value. But the river, like all, had spirited him away. Well, that wizard was dumb. The, uh, <laughs> what kind of wizard would go up against Goldfires? The singing and the tale telling seems to be kind of, um, uh, <clears throat> like, kind of lyrical. It's not really poetic. It's more of just someone kind of singing to or speaking to um, a musical beat. Um, not very rhythmic. Um, very, not too dissimilar for Sen. This is a similar storytelling style um, that is had in the uh, city um, where you're from. But yeah, it um, goes on a bit um, and then concludes. The captain kind of grins and um, I'm assuming that um, you're all kind of 
acclimating. Here, are you remaining off in the distance in shadow? Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and join. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of looking for like a good time to sort of like back up with the with with the with everyone with the guys with me and to sort of like have a little oh. side powwow. Sure. You know, the um, mean, like weird. The leader of the group, the one that came out of the wagon. Sorry. Go ahead, uh, Stephanie. I'm fully in. I'm like sitting on the side of a wagon eating some bread. <laughs> my feet. Once the once the song stops, um, I'm gonna cut to you for a second. Um, that's uh, actually kind of important. And um, the uh, um, the rest of you, you're kind of moving away to a powwow. The captain, kind of um, uh, the leader of the group, um, the dashing gentleman, he kind of looks to you all and says, uh, "You're more than welcome to stay. I have some business I have to attend to. The song was good. The wine was good." He throws the bottle. The girl who gave it to him uh, catches it as if she was. She's not even paying attention. She's talking to someone else. Just, um, and he kind of walks back over to the wagon, uh, opens it up, and kind of crawls back in and kind of disappears from sight to the sounds of two giggling mates. Um, and uh, Business. he's got a yeah. He, you, you can see that he is wearing a pair of black socks. Um, so he is um, he is wearing his business, business socks. socks. <laughs> it is business. It is business socks. time. Um, uh, I don't know this joke. It's it's no, fine. No, it no, no worries. We will get you after the show, Athelene. The um, gentleman closest to you kind of like leans in and says, uh, "You um, have been sent far and a, a, a stride from where Gothias has kept most of his um, dolls. Uh, wh why have you um, have you gone missing? Are these ones have they taken you?" Oh no, I um, I'm kind of not sure why, but. Uh... When I, I, I had been asleep for a really long time, and um, when these people had waken me up, uh, I wasn't sure what had happened. Everything was so different. Ah. And it seems like maybe some time had passed. You're one of the missing. Most of the missing re go to Strafania. Um, there are several that I recall passing by. Um, you see the two families we have not met in a while. Uh, one of us have come from the west and one of us have come from the east and we've met here by the seer's pool to, um, <laughs> you know, have some fun. And, uh, well, it, like I was saying, there are some that are like you that I believe are in Strafania. It is probably wise that you um, go there. If Gothias is seeking you out specifically, uh, that would be where he would find you. That conversation's happening while you pow out, by the way, everyone else. Um, and Elenia still hasn't really moved into the light. She's kind of staying back in the tree line. She's been in listening distance, and she's kind of in that current state right now. She looks to you all. Um, Hero, as you kind of enter into the, uh, the the area, you can see the one closer to you kind of go, Oh. 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 And says something in the language that they speak. It seems like there's a specific word uh, kind of denoting you. Turns back and whispers it to the woman with the wine, and she kind of goes... Oh. <laughs> like they're very surprised by you. More so than the bear. All right. Hey. Side power, go. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Service of both eyes. Everyone here. What do we want to do now? We need to go to Strafania. Yeah. Well, hold on. You're you're over off to the side. You see them oh. gathering together. Do you want to run over oh. to them, or do you want to stay? Yes. Okay. She kind of slips away from the group and comes over to you, and then you're kind of muttering that she. Yep. Yeah, I just want to kind of like break off of this and <laughs> continue on. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this whole situation here. I've seen things like this go badly in the past. Well, especially if they keep drinking. Yeah, they are. Most of them look like they're pretty well into their cups. Um, yeah. Yeah, if... if um, uh, no answers, no questions, murder were your lot, uh, it would be not a hard effort to kill everyone present. But, again, based on what they've <laughs> said... And how they're acting, they seem to be two totally different things. It doesn't look like anyone here is against their will. It looks like everyone's having a good time. And um, based on the discussion um, and everything that you've seen and heard, they very much 
resemble the descriptions that you've received of bitter hearts, mm. the ones who can travel beyond the mists. These are the bitter hearts? Mind blown. Well, now I know what they look like. Wait, I already knew because we saw the hags. Yeah, um, to they kind of bitter hearts. to kind of put like um. Uh, I'm I, I'm trying to do this as sensitively as possible, and I don't know how to describe it, um, without it coming off as weird. Um, they have, they have kind of, um, uh, they all have dark hair. Um, they all have very similar features. Um, they do look like they are two families that you're kind of looking at here, um, and uh, yeah, it looks like um, the. Uh, uh, one family looks like they are a bit more, um, uh, anyway, since I don't know how to do it, <laughs> that the, the two families look like they are different, but at the same time, they both look like they have a lot of traits in common. Mm. Cool, cool. Insight. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say insight or incest? Uh, it, 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 incest. Okay. I don't know if that's where he was going with that, but... Um, I say Someone. we thank them, and then we continue down the road. Yeah, see, I had, had not much reason to deal with, like, to try and, like, get rid of them, knowing that they're bitter hearts. You know, it tends towards, you know, a little bit more attacking them, but I'm still, like, we can disengage and deal with the bitter heart thing later. As you're kind of preparing to go back into the group and make some pleasantries to fade away, you see someone come out of the tent to the northern side of the camp. Um, looks like they had disappeared when you kind of disappeared and kind of walks over to your group, kind of moving towards you with a, a bit of an effort. Um, and he says, um, You are a blessing to our group. Uh, looking to Hero um, and looking to uh, the others, but kind of seems that the attention keeps kind of coming back to the blue dragonborn um, and he says madam vera has asked specifically to um speak with you she says that um and you recall that you haven't mentioned your names um to these people at all that um hero nodder sen aveline and elenia are welcome to consort with her and speak um she knows your names she knows your hearts and she would like to um, help you on your path. This is a... Uh, I can't tell you how tremendous an offer this is. Um, may I lead you to her? Now isn't this something? <laughs> I'm down to go. How do they know Alinia's here? <laughs> Yeah, Elenia hasn't even popped out, and you can actually see when Elenia's name is mentioned, she kind of... Like, wait. <laughs> she kind of, what? <laughs> uh, I'm curious. I'd be willing to speak with them. Okay. After all, I am a blessing. <laughs> if you follow this uh, bitter heart up to the tent... Um, he leads you up to it and kind of gestures into the tent. This is the tent that you could see down the barrel of uh, Michael. Uh, am I am I able to grab another bottle of wine? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the guy, if you, just, you know, reach out. She kind of just, hands it off to you, like just bam. Seems to just be kind of just creating. I give her a weird little dance. <laughs> <laughs> I do the dance at the door. Head no, that I way. Don't do that. I don't do that one. <laughs> Once you get to the tent, um, the uh, individual inside, um, you can see that there's magical flames that are casting a reddish glow over the interior of the tent, um, revealing a low table covered in black velvet cloth. Glints of light seem to flash from a crystal ball on the table hey. as a hunched figure uh, peers into its depths. True form of a dragon world. As the elder woman kind of looks up to you, uh, she speaks. Her voice crackles like dry weeds. At last, you have arrived. Cackling laughter bursts like mad lightning from her withered lips. And she gestures to the space in front of her table. I'm just going to roll on up. All right. <laughs> I'll, lean, I'll lean on the, the 
uh, near the door. Not in the door, but near it. She um, looks to you all. You have traveled here some great distance, and yet you feel like you've only walked not far at all. I am sure it is the same for us when we pass through the gates. But you have found a secret way, a way that the bitter hearts knew of, but did not know could be traversed by such as you. You are not of our blood. Well, looks to Sen. Not all of you, anyway. <laughs> so, guidance is necessary. I understand it. Right. Your purpose here is... And you see her kind of like reach behind the, the crystal ball, kind of slowly drag it to the side of the table with her hand, kind of sliding across the, the velvet pretty smoothly, actually. You're expecting a bit more drag, but it's a perfect move, revealing a deck of cards sitting behind it. Um, she places her hand on the deck, flips the card over, and lays it out, and it shows a very ornate designed pattern, a symbol of a skull head. Um, and in the common tongue beneath it, the words reading death for a very specific purpose. Is that not right? Believe, yeah. Yeah. And you wish to kill the Gothias, the one who reigns in this place supreme? Yeah, we want to leave. Perhaps you do not understand. It may be the case that you have overheard outside of this tent that we are servants of Gothias, but only while within this land. It is the nature of the bitter hearts to serve whoever reigns. But his reign is not right. Who should be reigning? The elves of the Dusk House. <laughs> you don't know much at all of this place. No. You travel in league with one who served at his pleasure. You travel in league with someone who is a spawn of his servants. You travel in league with one who descends from our bitter heart race. And you travel in league with the primal nature of the wild itself. And yet you know nothing. She reaches down and touches the top card. Kind of slowly pulls it towards herself and stops and pushes it back. And she looks to Nodder. Speak true. What do you wish for more than anything in this life? To make things right. She flips over the top card of the deck. Hold on. Ah, uh, how do I do it? <laughs> Not unlike someone else who sought justice in this place before you. She throws the card out onto the table, revealing the wizard. A man made from the north who came to this place to fight Gothias. He raised banners. Is that what you wish to do? Or will you do it on your own? The weight of all of that justice on your bare shoulders. Oh ba dum Pooch! She says, I fucking win. I'm gonna go. I'm taking tomorrow <laughs> off. <I'm> t <laughs> okay, it's back my to birthday <laughs> week. Back, back to serious it's face. It's amazing. <laughs> Back to serious face on your bare shoulders. Still go with the pun, leaving it in there. That's canon. <laughs> she does not but herself, though. She the uh... pun is canon. <laughs> pun canon. Um, I don't look great. to bring more, of course, not. into the, the line of fire than I have to. Of course not. But those close to you, she looks to hero. So your lineage is deep, and many have fallen beside you. On more foolish causes than this, I presume. She places her finger back onto the top of the deck and looks to you. So, 
What do you desire more than anything in this world? Or the others? <laughs> Hero. Redemption. A noble thought. Something you think about dearly. Something you consider how it would be that you could be redeemed when so many others have fallen. <laughs> she uh, throws the card out on the table, revealing the philanthropist. And she kind of looks to you. Dwell on it, but do not hesitate. Redemption is action. Redemption is justice. Made manifest. The wizard was unable to make this so. And he was much more powerful than any who sit before me in this place. Looks over to Sen. <laughs> you who <laughs> know not much beyond your direct descendants about your lineage. Why the nature of these ever-changing mists resides within you. She places her finger back onto the top of the deck. More than anything in this life, Sen. What do you want in this world? Um, money. <laughs> As I suspected, <laughs> the ethereal. That which does not matter, that which cloaks everything and conceals the mind of all. Your drive will change. It will always change. Looks to the others. What's the only guarantee that you can have in this life? <laughs> and you, who gave your one life to serve eternally, you do not even truly understand the nature of your servitude, as you've been granted this second chance. More than anything, Aveline, servant of the Lieutenant of Ashmedea, pre did it Gothias his pleasure, places her finger on top of the deck. What do you wish in this life? I want to be a real boy. <laughs> <laughs> Um. <laughs> That's a perfect flip. That's a perfect flip. <laughs> Go to jail. Go to jail. Uh, inspiration. <laughs> Only I, I could give you mine. <laughs> it was good. I'm sorry. I was holding that one in. It's <laughs> pretty good. It's pretty good. It was. I'll, 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 yeah, I'll give you inspiration for that. That's, that's hey. what it is. <laughs> also, the flip is pretty perfect on that one, too. But yeah, go ahead. What, what is it for real? I would like things to go back to the way they were. <laughs> the prison that you set within your mind, you cannot free yourself from it. It is something that you have held on to for so long. Understand this. The one you served before is no longer the one who reigns here. When Gothias reigned beyond these lands, he reigned in a place where justice, wealth, redemption, these were all things that were tangible, could be grasped onto. In this place, there are only mists, the lingering remnants, those that haunt you, looks to Hero, those that you were unable to bring justice to, he says, she says as she looks to Nodder, and all those days you spent begging, wanting a life for yourself, seeing so many others live it, and being unable to just make do the bare necessities. The bare necessities? Ah. 
I brought it, I brought it around. <laughs> she just she just go ahead and she just yeets herself into the river. She's like, fuck. <laughs> I have to die now. Um I think I cut myself a little bit when I clawed into my thigh. She looks over <laughs> She looks over to Elenya. <laughs> you serve as she serves, but you do so knowingly. And just like her, your master there is different here. And it troubles you. But what you don't know is what truly can bring you pain here. Looks to Aveline again. Does she not remind you of someone? Looking upon her? Uh, says this to Aveline while looking at uh, Alenia. I'm just going to kind of narrow my eyes a little bit. So, Alenia, the Elsir, more than anything in life, Alenia says, I do not need your fortune telling. I do not need your cards. If it's something that you please to do, flip your card. Know this, your mists, your ability to read, your magic, mm pales in comparison to the light of the true god of this world. Vera looks down to the deck, her finger's still on top of it, grabs the card, flips it, throws it out, just casually, out onto the table. It is, and she looks to it. Elenya doesn't look. Everyone can see that the enchanter has been flipped over. Looking at it, you can see a striking resemblance of the uh, card art um, to an individual you met uh, before, the uh, Monster Hunter's associate. The one with the prosthetic leg and the um, uh, just awesome composure. Like, yeah. Correct. Elsa, I think, is what we... Yeah. Kind of confusing. Maybe. Originally, Elenia. <laughs> she um, wordlessly looks to the card, and then wordlessly kind of looks up to the group. I tell you this. You are on a path. You understand that? My group continues on to the west, back the way you came. You can travel with me, and I can take you back to the gates. You can leave this place. She says as she reaches out to the cards, grabs them, picks them up, puts them down onto the top of the deck, places her hand on the deck, and one-handed shuffles the deck very quickly, setting it back down. Or you can leave with my compatriots, who are heading to the east. They will take you out the eastern gate. To Great Altaria, if you so wish. A coastal nation in the Dragon Isles. Or you can remain here. And you can change something for the better, for the people here. It will not be like what you expect, she says as she looks to... Uh, hero and to uh, Aveline. You may lose some along the way. But the choice is yours. You're free to go. Cool. She kind of sits there. I mean looking at the deck, um, and kind of looking kind of bored. Go ahead. How much, how much, I mean, like, how much do you know? Like, did, you said some flowery words, but, like, <laughs> do you really know me? <laughs> uh, not a razor claws from the West. You know my name. You seek to destroy a person who has wronged you in your tribe. You fought bravely alongside individuals here, some longer than others. 
and your deeds have brought great pain upon those who stood against you? How you do you are, know this? You are a cunning individual in combat. You fight with the primal energies of the wilds that you strive from. You fight underneath the totem of the bear. Fitting, to be sure. How do I know this? The cards have told me. While you are singing and dancing and drinking, I research. It's not too often we are met by individuals here on the off sides of the road. Not too many people travel the un or the beaten paths. Um, not, or travel off the beaten paths um, into the wilds as you have done here. So then, what is your nature then? Everything <laughs> we've heard of how you take and bring people through the mist doesn't sound like it's out of line with how Gothias would treat someone. It's oh, no, 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 no. We don't take them. No. We can travel through the mists. We can travel to all of the lands beyond the mists. To us, this is just another place that we can enter into. In your world, if you were to travel to the east and continue into the Bitterheart Vale, you would see nothing more than burned countryside destroyed during the war with Ashmedea. You would see wrecked ruins where here stand mighty fortresses. You've traveled beyond the pale. You no longer reside in the world of the living. We can pass beyond the mists to this place. And as I said, you are not dead, so you can go with us. But the people who live here, though they are dead, live in this perpetual hell brought on by Gothias' desire for it to be so. How can we drink and have merriment in such a place, you ask? Well, we've traveled to far, far stranger lands where much more is at stake. This one. This one. Um, <laughs> as I'm sure you would agree, has fine wines drawn up from the only bits of enjoyment the folks here can muster up. Internally, the the understanding of oh, everyone here is dead. Oh, except the blowing. Except the bitter hearts. Sorry, the bitter hearts. Yeah, is yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Understood. Understood. Okay. Yeah, is, is blowing <laughs> Nodder's mind. <laughs> you're you're just not catching on to this. <laughs> Yeah, I, as a person, so I did not you know You didn't that. tell me these were better hearts, and now you're telling me that everyone's dead here? Ah! It, recont it reconceptualizes how all this works. Like, oh, crossing over to the land of the living would be something for those that are here. Whatever choice you make, just speak to my captain. I'm sure he's probably gallivanting with some uh, strapping man or busty maiden out there oh, in the camp. He's... he's He's busy with some business. As long as he's wearing his socks. <laughs> oh, no, he's got his business <laughs> socks on. Uh, and my screeching voice changed. I, I just kind of lost it because my throat got a little scratchy. I didn't want to force it. I am supposed to sound evil and old. <laughs> but I, I couldn't keep it up. I'm sorry. I failed you all. I got the imagination. I, I can. The only thing I can't imagine is a song. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if my voice is too scratchy to do old lady, it's too scratchy to sing you a song. <laughs> we'll be waiting. <laughs> Expect the album next session. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, man. Um, but yeah, do you have any other questions for Madame Vera? No, I'm I like Nada would be like trying to balance these two things in his head. He'll, he'll in fact, just, you know, turn out the door. Okay. Wait, I do have a question. Sure. For her. Um, 
since my kind is similar to the bitter hearts, does that mean I can also pass through the veil like the bitter hearts? Or are we too different? <laughs> I do not know. You are the one that is the most puzzling to me. I understand fully what your compatriots are. But you, your twisting nature is, like us, ethereal. I do not know. I would not suggest testing it. How did it feel when you came to this place? Did it hurt? Or was it quick? It was quick. I would not suggest passing through the gates at this time. If the bitter heart blood does rest within you powered, then perhaps. But how you would go about rekindling the spark that we hold within us that is a path you must walk on your own. Okay. That's all I have. Because I don't know nothing about nothing. Hero? Emily? <laughs> I don't have parents. <laughs> I have no questions. Emily? No. Okay. What would you like to do after that point? It does look like there's still more partying going on. Um, yeah, they are well into their cups. Some are kind of cuddling, um, <laughs> snogging. Um, songs are kind of just background sound at this point. What do those songs sound like, John? Oh, they, they sound... <laughs> they like sound... Hum, hum a few bars. Uh... Very monotone. <laughs> <laughs> they're all drunk. They're all drunk. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for stepping in and standing up for me. How would you give him an excuse, Stefan? Because <laughs> you're always picking on me, so. <laughs> what? <laughs> you're, you're the one who picked on him earlier. Yeah. <laughs> There's some, the... oh, some by... rhythmic beats coming from one of the. <laughs> um, I believe it's um do 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 the system is down. System is down. That's what it's that's what they're doing. That's wow. that's very interesting. It's the only that's song not that came what I expected. <laughs> Ten out of ten. It's the only song that came into my head at the time. <laughs> but yeah, um the captain is sitting outside of his wagon. Um it is open. Um oh. and he is smoking a pipe. Um he is wearing very little. Um, the others are, again, like I said, in their states of drunkenness. Um, and uh, business meeting over. It does look like it's kind of like mid afternoon at this point, um, getting close to er, into evening time actually. Um, but yeah, um, what would you like to do? You can leave. Um, you can travel with one of the two families to the west or to the east. Your choice, or you can go. Um, about your way. It sounds like Madame Vera is headed to the west, back the way you came. Mm. And um, the uh, captain here, um, him and his company are heading east. Through I mean, we gotta they... go meet this guy. Okay. Yeah. Did they need something that they needed help with, or was I just. No. They're just okay. chilling. Basically, uh, at a character note, they're giving you kind of a couple of options here. You can opt out going backwards, you can opt out going forwards, mm -hmm. or you can stay in crazy town and go on about your business. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm not a fan of traveling in larger groups like this. I say we just continue on our way. Is that me? Yeah. It might very well ahead. be. Yeah, the lightning. I heard it. Okay. Okay. If you're traveling on long your own, um, the uh, wine lady, she kind of stops you and she says, are you heading back to the King's Road? Uh, I guess. Yes. Um, 
Don't go the way you came. Continue on down this path. It reconnects closer to Stravania than you probably were. If that is where you're heading. Very good. Is there something on the main road? Um. To be wary about? In these parts, the servants of... They travel in packs about this area. I would be wary. So we hit a good path. All right. Are you continuing <laughs> out <laughs> now? <laughs> are you continuing out now, or are you wanting to stop and rest? I think we still should, because I don't think I'm fully recovered from the past battle. Yeah, if you stay here and rest with them, I mean... <clears throat> Again, there's more opportunity for conversation, dialogue, etc. But uh, if not, um, you can continue about your way and find a camp out somewhere in the road. I mean, I'll sleep over by a tree, but I ain't going back in that camp. Okay. They party a little too hard for you. Nader, <laughs> Nader would be deeply bothered by having to remember things. <laughs> so you don't want to go back. He's chilling. <laughs> Yeah, she read that you like Captain Guy. <laughs> she read you like a book. That's probably super unnerving. Yeah, like, <laughs> it was super disturbing for Nader. He's, he's like, nah, nah, nah. He went <laughs> he, he went straight out to a tree away from the camp and, and took that bottle that he already had and he's like <laughs> Okay. And then um is anyone staying in the camp and kind of on the wind down? Um or are you yeah, if you're staying here, just say that you are. We'll get that over with. And then we'll decide what you're doing in the morning. Um, that said, um, go ahead and get a long rest in you. Um, nothing too crazy or untoward happens. Um, but based on your roll from before, I would like for Michael to now roll a D100. Nice. The big number. What's the number? 82. 82. Okay. That's also a pretty large number. <laughs> Pretty large number. Way to go. The enemy will be level 82. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there will be 82 of them. 82 one, level One more 82. super secret that you don't know about uh, the mists is that um, Tarasks are very common. <laughs> we'll, bait, we'll just bait the enemy into the river. Like a sucker, they'll fall in. Perfect. That would be, yeah, that's all. That's all we gotta do. 82 of them will do all that. <laughs> None of them will learn. <laughs> They're like lemmings. That's yeah. They just all go. That's <laughs> and uh... one in, they all go in. We'll make a fake bridge and make it look real sturdy by pretending to run across, but really we're just jumping over it. And then when they come and run across, it all fall in. You said eighty-two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're dead. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> hey, oh we gosh, beat those hags. Not eighty-two, right? You're anything but it's eighty-two. <laughs> Specifically eighty-two. You go over to your tree, and you kind of, like, uh, go and hang out over there, Nodder, and everyone else kind of stays closer to the area. Um, as you're kind of laying there on the tree, kind of looking up, um, normally this close to, you know, kind of like a, a clearing, you'd be able to see, like, the tree, or see, like, the sky, the stars, and everything, and you're kind of, like, not seeing anything. The moon looms overhead at this point, um, but it's just complete gray. And like dark gray at that and it's really unnerving for you it feels like there's kind of like this disconnect and as you're thinking about the real nature of that disconnect it's like it's kind of kind of hurts it's real painful but then you see kind of this shimmer kind of appear in the trees like branches above you and you're like is that a star what what is that and as you focus in a little bit more you realize that there's a necklace hanging from a um, a branch, just kind of lay, or kind of just moving, kind of oscillating in the wind, and it seems to be catching the firelight from the distance. It's maybe about ten feet up. I could make a grab for it. You could, you could reach up there with your axe if you wanted to. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Um, you get it and kind of pull it down. Um, it appears to be a platinum chain. Um, with a uh, white gold uh, locket um, as its main amulet portion. It seems to be able to be kind of popped open, as lockets are tend to do. Um, and inside you see what appears to be kind of like a, a drawing or uh, uh, icon of a young um, boy um, 
and it looks like there is um, dates of life for this individual, but the name appears to have been scratched off. And the date of this individual's birth is calendar-wise the same day you were born. And the date of their death is today. Can I sense anything around me? <laughs> no. Not really. There's no monsters or anything. Just a, a locket in your hands. Locket is cursed. I just know it feels. I'll close it. Uh, gonna close that up? Yep, just gonna zip that up. And you know, it's, it's been a bad day. It's been a bad night for Nodder. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna look back towards the camp and start heading that way. Okay. It's it's more unsettling being out here now than it is being close to that camp. I got these I got these two cats. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they are Martin, the cats wanted to hear you think. They are taking over the yeah, apparently that's what it is. <laughs> uh, they um that said, the the night for the rest of the night the night goes on eventful. Um but yeah, uh, when you wake in the morning, it does look like the camps are basically at what you would presume is dawn, have already prepared themselves and are getting set to move. It looks like three of the wagons are heading west, and one of the wagons is headed east. The one wagon that's headed east is the wagon that you saw being utilized um, the night before. Um, it looks like three of the uh, individuals that were present, three of the twelve, are going that way, um, one of the three being the uh, the captain um, that you met, and the um, the rest of them are heading west. Um, before they leave, uh, I might as well ask, like, do you guys bear some potions? Some what? Some, some, uh, something for health. We have very limited goods but um if trading is something you want to do you really should have asked us last night um they were uh, drunk last night which means they would have been more pliable to your good deals uh, <laughs> you've missed your chance but um let's... Yeah, i didn't want to be there anymore <laughs> <laughs> um do me a favor and roll me a d100 you went on though. Mm hmm. There we go. Yeah. Alright. You got 80. Alright. And roll me one more D100. Make it so hard. <laughs> Alright. Um, so the individual you're speaking to says, I have this potion. Um, it's not so much for the healing, more for uh, the romance. Um, and I have um, this gemstone, which is not unlike yourself, a force of nature, primal elemental energy bound within. I will trade them to you for, looks over to uh, Sen, her flute. How do you know I have it? <laughs> and everyone kind of, yeah, you have it stowed away in your stuff, so you're pretty weirded out too that they know you have it. What use do you have of the flute? Wait, what was the other thing that he was trading? A uh, gem of nature and a potion of love. An elemental gem and a filter of love, correct. Mm. Love potion number nine. Classic movie. Ten Try ten. I'm trying to remember what the thing does. It's been a long time since I've seen that. And you're going to try and bargain with us without knowing it. Uh, oh, I remember what it does. Okay. The flute? Um, no, no, no. I know what the flute does. The oh. the, the, the potion. It oh. it really is love potion number nine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm. What does the gym do? Um, tries to explain it. <laughs> um, it's green. Uh, I would say this one is not green. Did I say it was green? 
No, I just assumed nature green. Oh, no, no, no. And I was making a joke that, oh, this gem? It's just green. <laughs> it's just green. It's really pretty. That's it. Snotter's just colorblind, so whatever color it is just looks green to him. So, you try. Actually, <laughs> that word. it is green. <laughs> it, it, wow. It is a massive emerald. Um, a chaotic, <laughs> a chaotic like sword. Like with nature. It's a chaotic sort of emerald. Um, it appears to have kind of like the strange flowing nature to it. Um, it's emerald green is closer to like the the green of the oceans. Um, the green of my eyes. Uh, or that. Um, <laughs> it's like the vast um, uh, seas. Um, the bluish greeny kind of oceany kind of look. And he you says, love potion. You've, you've got me charmed now. Bound within this gemstone <laughs> is a water elemental. And you can free it, um, and it will fight for you for some time. Can we just can we just have both of these? No, 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 no. Or, or need, the the flute that. We need something to trade. We are. The undead. We're headed to the west, so if you have some coin from that place, it might be beneficial. Um, uh, we would take two hundred for the potion. No, a hundred and fifty for the potion, and uh, two hundred for the gemstone. Gold or silver? Gold. We don't have that much. <laughs> Almost like you guys don't care about this place. How much do we have, son? Uh, I haven't finished, but... Watching the stuff? If you need yeah. help, I, I could have done that. <laughs> there's, I, I, like, yeah. <laughs> there's like I 20 helped. hours to go through. Uh, we have five gold right now because we spent... 50 or the already or for the, the other thing and then we have uh two two thousand two hundred silver that's two hundred um twenty gold pieces oh two okay that, well that, that's the trans the, the the rate of transfer so if you gave them two thousand silver that'd be like giving them two hundred gold uh yeah. Oh, and by the way, add, add 10. I have 10 gold on me from start that I've never really accounted for. That we can just count as the group's gold. Oh, you're just going to give it to the group? Sure. I mean, we're all spending the money. The here. silver or gold, right? I have 10 gold. 10 gold. That I oh, I just with. deleted all my values. I don't know what I have here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good to know. So if you have 40 more somewhere, they'll give you the elemental gem for that. So... Real quick, though, I have this uh, orc pendant thing from a long while back. It's not magical. Ooh. They don't care. <laughs> Dang it. I also have two troll claws. They say, but one of your fine swords might do. We'd gladly give you both of these items for one of your swords. Oh, shit. Just any one of the swords? Not any one specifically? Yeah, they just said any one of your magic swords. Ooh, I think I have extras. You have a plus one long sword, shatter spike, and a vicious long sword. Yeah. If you grow a third arm, you might be able to wield all three. But barring that, I'm I'm willing to trade one of the long swords. Which one do you want to split? The long sword plus one. Okay. Yeah. If that's the case, they'll hand you over the elemental gem and the filter of love. Yeah. Great. Cool. That's a. I enjoy that trade. I could make the gem into something. Yeah. So. Um, if the artificer spends a couple seconds over it and uh, identifying it, the elemental gem um, verbiage um, specifically uh, states that um, basically as a one-off, uh, you can cast a spell Conjure Elemental um, to summon up a water elemental. Um, and once that's done, the gemstone reverts back to its base worth, which would be a uh, 100 gold piece gemstone. Also, the, the water elemental doesn't get to hang out. Not. The uh, spell conjure elemental. Um, you're not, you're it, not just going to be out there and chill? Uh, the spell conjure elemental lasts for one hour, but whoever casts it has to hold the dur uh, hold concentration on it. Um, the elemental servant fights for you, um, effectively. Um, rolls its own initiative, um, etc. Um, it obeys any verbal commands that you issue it, um, and then does those on its turn. Um, if you don't issue any commands to it, it just defends itself from hostile creatures, doesn't take actions otherwise. If you break concentration while the spell is active, um, it 
goes into its own kind of just um, nature. Um, and initially it will become hostile towards you and your companions because you are the ones who bound it to the gemstone and um, will try to destroy you. Um, it can't be dismissed by you once it's summoned um, and it disappears after one hour after you've summoned it. So that's the nature of the spell. And yeah, and ultimately once it's cast, once it's done, the gemstone reverts to a hundred gold piece to emerald. Uh, and then the filter of love, um, which I guess could get kind of weird. Um, oh, it's, it's going to get weird. <laughs> it, it pretty much <laughs> verbatim what you're thinking it does. Um, uh, once you weird. drink the potion, um, within 10 minutes after drinking it, uh, the very next creature that you see, um, you become charmed by that creature for one hour. Um, if the creature is of a species and uh, gender you are normally attracted to, you regard it as your true love while you are charmed. Uh, the potion's rose-hued effervescent liquid contains one easy-to-miss bubble shaped like a heart. Oh, it's like a it's like a slightly different love potion number nine where I got yeah, basically the exact same premise. I love it. So Better I'm gonna, take your business off. I'm down to, <laughs> to take that and stow it away. Okay. The filter of love is on oh. hero. I'll take my sword. It's hero a trying to get lucky. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to use that uh, on a rainy day. Who do you want the... <laughs> do you want to hold on to the elemental gem or do you want someone else to take it? Concentration is something that's based on constitution. So Ooh. kind of focusing on the gemstone isn't something you have to do. You just have to maintain your kind of mental will and... Uh, control over it and if you are hit while you're trying to maintain that it's a constitution saving throw to botch it or save against it so well constitution me, is notter's <laughs> game notter's forte there i got a decent one but his i do like the idea of a saving elemental yeah so does this remind you of something you forgot i didn't forget <laughs> it in my head i still think we can go back there and do it <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to that and I was like, "Ooh, we never went back." <laughs> oh, I already, I already talked to him about that like for a while ago, okay. and I told <laughs> him forgot. I didn't forget. <laughs> I, was, I, I always thought we would be going back through they that are, same path. They are still making water for the goblins. Yeah, or, no, the yeah. Co the kobolds. Sorry, the goblins. Kobolds. Died. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I was willing to concede. All right, we can move on now, but I'm coming back. <laughs> and then the mist took yeah. And then Plus, and then we and then we got missed away. And I was like, well, All right. real quick, real quick. If you really want to go deal with that uh, that water thing, the 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 water cooler, you can go to the west with uh, nope, Vera. I got that. Okay. You know, thing. Everything is important. You're so like, you got to stack things whoa. and important stuff. This what are we referencing? I I don't remember this. The water elementals bound to the uh, water creating water jug in yeah. the uh, Cobalt Town. That you kept on talking about breaking open but never did. Well, um, it was only me that was talking about it. He not was like, I, I was wanting too. me to not do it. And then no, Hero I, came I, and grabbed me and said, don't do it. Yeah. No, I said that we would. We'd come back. Oh, yeah, yeah, come yeah, back you come back. I 100% yeah, yeah, yeah. agreed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, that's right. I, took, I gave you my word on that, but then we all forgot. So. <laughs> oh, no. We didn't well, forget. now we're not I, even the same... I did not forget. So. Yeah, let's just, let's just quit the entire main quest and go back. Yeah, totally fine. I mean, again... Nope. Nope. <laughs> I have a bigger mission. Fair enough. Okay. Um, speaking of that mission, are we going back to the main road then? Uh, uh, we were told quick, not quick, to. Bare, <laughs> bare enough. <laughs> Say that. Get out and stretch. I'm a, I'm a Everything went like stretch. <laughs> bare enough, bare enough, talking to Nodder. Sin takes out Dagger and just stacks. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm out, guys. Oh. Uh, Good times. Um, I gotta drink the rest of my bottle on that one. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, let's just go. The go ahead, go ahead, uh, Michael. You had something, or was it just the bear pun? It was just that joke. No, it was then... just the bear pun. Okay, so if you're heading back, I was gonna say that we, they said not to go back on the main road. No, they, they said that was in reference to, to go not back going on the... backwards. They said to um, go back on the main road. Yeah, don't go yeah. the way you oh. came. Look at the face. Look at the face. They said we'll eventually. Oh my god, what a cat. <laughs> what a ham. Look at oh, the face. You're, you are such a hamburger. <laughs> really give it to us, though. I love it. 
He is. <laughs> Bite him, like... <laughs> eat him like a cheeseburger. <laughs> oh. oh. oh Stum face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna come over and pet that cat. Pet that cat. Um, so, <laughs> that's... Pet that cat. <laughs> Wait, what? What? I'm trying to delete things so you can see things, but it's not letting me do the thing. Oh. And, oh, nope, Nalen's, Nalen's seeing the mouse move around. <laughs> oh no. Uh -oh. He gonna get that, he We're gonna gonna get get that mouse. We're just gonna go ahead and... Yeah, it does the exact same thing. Leave it... Love that mouse creature. Leave it <laughs> as it stands. So that said, the bear continues on. Um, We're gonna get to this three-way road here, and I'm just gonna read you a deal and then we are going to move past that so long as this cat lets me read um oh, all right so you come to a crossroad uh, there's an old wooden gallows uh, that creaks in a chill wind that blows down from the high ground to the west um a which would have been the way you came um a frayed length of rope uh dances from its beam <laughs> um and uh it does appear that there is an individual uh, who is um, still within that rope, kind of just dawdling in the wind. Uh, the well-worn road splits here, and a signpost opposite the gallows points off in three directions. Strafania Village to the east, Sears Pool to the northwest, um, and Valak to the southwest. Underneath the sign for Valak is one more um, kind of notation, um, and it says Gothias' keep um, in the same direction as Valak. Uh, the northwest fork slants down and disappears into the trees, while the southwest fork clings to an upward slope. Across from the gallows, a low wall crumbling in places partially encloses a small plot of graves shrouded in the fog. Um, as I mentioned, there does appear to be a body hanging in the, um, the noose. Um, it does look like a larger individual, uh, kind of shadowy, nothing more than a silhouette at this distance. Man hung next to a graveyard. I want to go cut cut him down. Okay. Once you get over to him, the wind kind of slowly spins his body, Hero. And as his face comes to turn and look at you, it's um, an individual you know named Kezin, um, who died at your side when you were fighting with Nodder um, at the Hapcut Hills. One of the adventurers who untimely passed up on those hills. That's a deep cut. Hmm. So, you I'm also gonna... note that as he comes around to face you, uh, pinned to his chest um, is kind of a litany that's been placed upon him. Kazan, the condemned. He who could not fight bravely enough. Hmm. You cut him down? Yep, I've cut him down. Okay. And take him. There's a graveyard just across the way. Yeah, I'm, yep, I'm, yep. I'm, I'm digging a hole. All right. Um, in total, there are 13 graves present. Um, and as you look to them, uh, Hero, um, you become very frustrated because you recognize every single name on every single tombstone. Fill in the blanks when you so desire. But it does appear that the individuals who've been laid to rest here are familiar to you. I just wouldn't speak very much and do what I'm doing, get, bury him. Okay. Takes about an hour and a half for you to build or to dig a grave, uh, not too far from the plots, um, kind of settle the um, individual um, inside. Uh, strangely enough, there was a pine box sitting not too far from there, which you deposit him into, lay him to it. Alenia kind of stands over um, and seems to be performing. Um, the rites, um, as they are ordained by Atavius. Not too uh, uncommon uh, a sight for most of you. And um, she performs a ceremony. 
unerringly, laying Kazan to rest here in what you know as the land of the dead. Nodder, you recognize Kazan as well, and you would note that in the efforts that you had in fighting the um, goblins in the Hathcut Hills, there was no time to bury him properly. It was a very fast-moving conflict, and he was left behind. But it appears not, or perhaps he was. Very strange nature of death here. But after your time digging the grave, I assume right back to the road, the uh, vision right the vision line has gone off on my stream i've noticed but that's fine it's not like it's a too big a deal and i will note that this uh is the section i couldn't erase so you're just kind of moving through it um and that'll just have to work <laughs> you are now inside of it and then you come to another bridge perfect so you get to the other side of this bridge and you can see off in the distance um a little more than a mile away or less than a mile away, yeah, just about, um, a village. It looks like a pretty bustling one, to be sure. Um, smoke kind of um, billowing up from many of the buildings that are present. Um, seems to have a very traditional um, shape, not too dissimilar from uh, the town of Hillwatch, just to a much grander scale. Um, and from your current vantage and direction, you are entering in to the village of Strafania, from the southwest side. So, um, you would see that there does appear to be a guard gate. Uh, there's no walls around this town like there was over Malik, or Valak. Um, you would see that um, it looks like there is a guard standing outside, slightly different than the guards outside of Valak. This individual appears to be female uh, from a distance with long kind of blonde hair uh, coming out from underneath her cap. And as she moves, she moves very mechanically, um, kind of marching back and forth like um, uh, like a nutcracker soldier, to be honest, um, back and forth um, until she sees you, turns at attention, and kind of stands there awaiting you. And as you approach, you can see that underneath all of her garb and her hat, uh, she does appear to be very similar in construction to your own Aveline. Is this your sister? <laughs> <laughs> you would see also that directly in front of you, um, not too far uh, ahead of you, um, is uh, a wagon kind of sitting off um, the way there. Um, very familiar looking wagon to you lot. You just saw it last night and this morning. They seem to have beaten you here. They're fast. They have horses, so... Fair. Well, we took the short way. That's why I said we should take the horses. Yeah, you don't remember them passing you, but you left before they did. But somehow they're still here before you. Almost that wasn't the short way. Mm. <laughs> oh, 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 it's magic! <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now he can sing. <laughs> I said, I said, yep. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't want to sing the song because I didn't know how that would play out. Um, but anyway, <laughs> there hasn't been too much music. I haven't even turned on background music for this session. I've been a complete wow. musical lark. This, this is Footloose Town, okay? Or <laughs> oh, that's what it is. Okay. This is the third best movie of all time. Fair, fair statement. Um, but yeah, as you approach, she uh, seems to kind of turn to you and uh, make herself kind of uh, present. Um, she doesn't seem to deter you or stop you in any way. She just seems to kind of recognize that you're entering into the town. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty decent stopping point. Uh, we'll go ahead and begin with the village of Strafania. So I'll have to come up with a witty um, way to name the next session uh, Strafania also, because the last session was Strafania, this session was Strafania again, <laughs> and this next session will also be Strafania. Strafania. 
Erponia um, again, again. Again, Erponia again. Remastered. Again, 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 again. Remastered. Yeah. 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 Erponia 3D. Remastered. Extreme Reloaded EX Plus Alpha. Um, X X Erponia XX or XX underscore Erponia XX. So this oh, one. Oh, nice. This nice. next bit should be interesting. Um, you forgot we... 420 somewhere. In there. <laughs> you know what's funny? A uh, little Just side note. Uh, I forgot to roll, log into, you know, roll 20. Uh huh. And so I went to type it in. I typed in 420. Oh. Uh oh. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> that, makes, every day. that makes perfect sense. It's gotta be. It's gotta be lowercase x capital x underscore, or no, lowercase x capital x 420 underscore Strafania underscore MVP. Uh, blaze it. Capital x lowercase x. There's gotta be a blaze it in there. Y'all get. Or 20 blaze it. Anyway. Go. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and kill the stream. We'll pick up next session. Um, and thanks for watching. Looks like we had quite a few viewers there. Um, all right. Yay. Stop in the tree. Bye. Bye.